do I look like a baby? Do, do I have a little sookie in my mouth? Do I, am I wearing a little diaper? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, you know who it is, and I come at you guys back again once again with a brand new video, and ladies and gentlemen, it is that time of the week where I present you guys with our newest episode of Two More Tuesdays. Now, first things first, ladies and gentlemen, I want to apologize, number one, for the lateness of this video. I mean, if you guys haven't seen my last video... Uh, that video took a lot out of me, and I kind of needed to have a little bit of a breather, uh, after making that video, because it was emotionally draining, and I would like to say thank you guys so very much for your guys' support and understanding, more or less, when it comes to the situation that I had presented in that video, and believe me, it wasn't easy, but I wanted to say thank you guys nonetheless for listening and hearing me out, because the thing is, ladies and gentlemen, with your guys' support, it does make dealing with this issue a hell of a lot easier, and much love to you guys. I'll thank you so very much, okay? Like, seriously, you guys are not only the bomb.com, but you guys are the wind beneath my wings, you know? Like, seriously, you guys are the reason I smile big every day, you know what I'm saying? But with that being said, guys, I also want to apologize for my appearance. Yes, I'm shirtless. And I look disheveled as hell. I mean, I didn't disclose this in the last video, but I went to the gym to get some of that aggression out. But with all that being said, holy hell, let's get into the first battle. What we got going on, we have a Gen 7 Partners in Crime battle. Now, for those of you guys that don't know how Partners in Crime work, I'm going to give you guys a very brief explanation. But basically what goes on is that Partners in Crime is contested under doubles battles rules, meaning that you have two Pokemon facing off against two Pokemon, and what goes on here, ladies and gentlemen, is that amongst those two Pokemon that you use, they share their abilities and share their moveset with each other, basically meaning that they both have access to two abilities and eight moves. So these are like super buffed, super powerful kind of Pokemon, I mean... Woo! Like, I just cannot wait to see what goes on in these battles. Both of these battles are going to be very hyped and very interesting. We got Grant MJC against Is My Name Registered. Now, Grant MJC's team is kind of looking like we got ourselves a full-on water type team. I mean, we're not full-on water type, we're just a full-on rain team. Excuse my little butcher there. But we got ourselves what looks to be a Mega Diancie. We got Politoed. We got Vaporeon. We have the Kingdra. We got Volcanion. And last but not least, we also have ourselves the Dancing Pineapple, so the Ludicolo, baby, woo! And Is My Name Registers team is looking pretty interesting, because we have ourselves also the Vaporeon, but we have Blacephalon, we have the Alolan Raichu, we got Tapu Koko, we also have ourselves the Volcarona, and last but not least, we have Oricorio. So with that being said, guys, fasten your seatbelts, and let's get started with our first match. Alright ladies and gentlemen, so here we go. So we lead things off with Diancie and Politoed, and we're facing off against Alolan Raichu and Tapu Koko. Oh no. Oh, here we go. So anyways, let's see what's gonna happen here. And well, it's Mega Diancie, shouldn't be surprised. And that the- Whoa! Oh my god! Are you actually kidding? That Thunderbolt did a number on Mega Diancie and O-Code it just outright. Are you actually kidding me? Wow! And oh jeez, we got a Lola Raichu with a Stoke Spark Surfer, and that unquestionably takes out the Politoed. That is, oh man, a first turn double knockout. Oh my god, that's crazy. So now we got Vaporeon and Ludicolo coming in, and well, that Vaporeon just got vaporized with that Thunderbolt. Are you kidding me? What the hell is this? And now we have Ludicolo taking a hell of a lot of damage, but we got Surf the Whoa, that does bo a damage to both. Oh, Tapu Koko and Raichu, but in comes Volcanion, and, well, yeah, it's not gonna survive that Thunderbolt, and I'm not liking Ludicolo's chances either of surviving, yet. Yeah, nope, that's just, that, that's not gonna happen, I mean, holy shit, this is crazy, but now we got Kingdra coming in, and I'm not liking the chances here either, I mean, I think it's kinda academic at this point that, yeah, that team just got completely wrecked and dominated, and... Yeah, it's just like, are you kidding me? Oh my god. That was... That, whoa. Like, I am absolutely speechless. I mean, 
wow like that just it just goes to show the functionality and the unity how well those two do those two pokemon gel together in this tier because the thing is Tapu Koko and Raichu combined the effects of Electric Terrain with Stokes with sorry with Electric Surge and the fact is is that Tapu Koko has access to, to Electric Surge as well which doubles the speed of Electric Terrain or doubles the speed of Pokemon under the effects of Electric Terrain man I'm getting tongue tied already holy hell Wow, that was amazing. What a crazy-ass demonstration from this powerful duo. But, ladies and gentlemen, we are not out of the woods yet. We have another Valtendary with this crazy tier and some crazy-ass action. Let's get started with our second match. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our second match. As I had alluded to before, this is another Partners in Crime kind of battle. Man, I am just... Oh man, I just cannot wait to see the kind of stuff that goes down here. So is my name registered is facing off against Mew the Troll, and is my name's registered packing a different team because we got the Smeargle, we got Kieran Black, okay? We also ourselves the Tapu Lili, we have the Porygon 2, we got Buzzwool, and last but not least, we got the Volcarona. Now Mew the Troll's team is looking very interesting because we have, I believe that's gotta be Mega Sceptile. We also ourselves the Heliolisk. We got the Dusk Form Lycanroc, we have the Halucha, and I can't tell if that is a Ash Greninja or Protean Greninja, and we'll soon find out. And last but not least, we have ourselves the Ololan Marowak, so ladies and gentlemen, fasten your seatbelts and let's get into the action of battle number two. Alright, here we go ladies and gentlemen, so we lead things off with Smeargle and Kiram Black, a very interesting combo, and we got Dusk Lycanroc and the Halucha, oh man, here we go. Woo! Alright, let's see what's gonna happen here. And well, Kira Black goes for the Baneful Bunker up in this piece, and Smeargle now goes for the Baneful Bunker. Okay. And well, the Acel Rock is obviously gonna protect him, and he gets poisoned. Oh man. And Brick Break is gonna be protected, and look at that, they're both poisoned. Man, oh man, alive. That was really solid right there. But now we got a Cell Rock on the Kieran Black. Does that does a lot of damage. Holy hell. And the Drain Punch, well, unsurprisingly enough, Smeargle carries a Focus Sash. And it takes him down right to that range. And the Draco Meteor, actually, Lycanroc actually survived that shit. But anyways, we have the White Herb restoring the Lost HP, or the Lost Special Attack, I should say. Smeargle does the same thing with the Draco Meteor, but yeah, like what the hell, man? Seeing Smeargle, hold, hold on a sec, seeing Smeargle use offensive moves like Draco Meteor, something you don't see every day, and that was actually enough to take down a Lycanroc Dust Form, but now we got a low and Marowak coming in, and Kira Black goes for Baneful Bunker again, and same with Smeargle, so we have a pretty, a pretty interesting kind of dynamic going on, I mean, what the hell? So, obviously, both moves are going to be ineffective, and yeah, it's just like, okay, let's see what's going to happen next up in the shenanigan-filled battle. So, the Poison Jab is going to take out the smear goal. I mean, that's kind of uh, not surprising at that point. And we got the Draco Meteor dropping Halucha. Holy hell. That was amazing. And now, let's see what's going to happen. That Earthquake going to be enough to take down that Kiram Black. But holy man alive. That was amazing. But now we got ourselves Greninja coming in, and we got Porygon 2 and Volcarona now coming. Whoa! Ho ho! Are you kidding me? So Volcarona takes Porygon 2's download ability and gets a free special attack boost from that shit. Brilliant! Oh my god. So we got Dark Pulse now happening, and well, it's Protean, so... And well, Volcarona flinches, so let's see what's gonna happen. Porygon 2 got Quiver Dance. Oh shit, that's not good. That is not good, and let's see what's going to happen with the Brick Break, and Marowak gets Protean too, and, well, the opposing Marowak just got burned for whatever reason, okay, um, yeah, oh, wait, 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 I know why, because of Porygon 2's, uh, ability known as Flame Body, as well as stacked up with Down, oh my god, dude, this is, this tears is too much right now, this is way too much, man, whoa, this is crazy. So, that Flamethrower is going to do a lot of damage to the Alolan Marowak, and the Tri-Attack, that's going to take down Alolan Marowak, oh my god, you've got to be joking me, that, that's just, that that was well played, but now we've got Heliolisk now coming in, and it goes to that Surf, and let's see what's going to happen, let's see this, let's see this, and well, it looks like Full Corona goes down, and yeah, like what the, that's just nuts, man, so... 
yeah, like Heliolisk has the Protean as well, and that, man, that's just amazing. And Porygon 2 goes for the cover after that clutch survival, but now we got Buzzwool with the download, gonna be getting that attack boost up in this piece, and that Thunder is gonna do a shit ton of damage, and Buzzwool actually survives, man, and he goes for the Rain Dance as well. And we got Porygon 2 now with the recover, and Buzzwool with the Drain Punch going to be easily able to take down that Heliolisk up in this piece, and Beast Bruce just boosted the attack stat. Oh my god, that is just disgusting. But now in comes Sceptile, or should I say the Mega Sceptile, and let's see what's going to happen. We got the Focus Blast up in this, and how much damage is that going to do here? That does a little under half damage, and we got the Z move with the Bloom Doom up in this, so let's see this. Like, it goes, it got the Protean, and it survived, and that Ice Beam with the Crit Sceptile survives, and Buzzwool actually goes, oh my god, it goes for the recover. This is nuts up in this, oh my god. This is just absolutely crazy. Like, I cannot believe the action that is taking place in this match. I am just overwhelmed right now. I am legitimately overwhelmed right now. Like, look at this. Like, this is just... I... Okay. Here's the deal, ladies and gentlemen. We are trying this here out. Like, without a doubt. So, expect a crazy video like this in the not-too-distant future. And look at that. It's like... I ended up losing track of, of the battle because I was so hyped. And it ended with a forfeit. I mean... Can't really blame the opponent too much. But, oh my god. This match was just, oh my god, these two matches were just absolutely crazy. I mean, the first match was kind of like a cut and dry 6-0 sweep and all that shit. Still crazy to see, but we got to see more of the effects of partners in crime in this match right here. Like, I was just losing track left, right, and center of the moves that everyone was using. I mean, good grief. That's all I can say is good grief. Like, oh my god. Wow, this is just crazy. This is just absolutely amazing. Wow, I applaud you. I, I tip my hat to you if I wore a hat, but my god, that was just absolutely nuts. So, mm, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I guess that concludes these two battles and thus concludes this video. So, thank you guys all very much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed the action, like I certainly did, man, then make sure you let me know by smashing the like button, sounding off in the comments section, and let me know what you guys thought about these battles up in this. My god, they were, they were absolutely hype. So, with that said, thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys are also new here to the channel, then be sure to hit the subscribe button and turn on post notifications. That way you will not miss an upload from me. And with that said, thank you guys all very much for watching this video. Don't forget, I love you, Jim Evacher. I can't even talk. I'm still getting all tongue tied from this hype. Oh my god, it just goes to show how crazy this tier is. So, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget, I love each and every single one of you guys. So, have yourself a good night. I'll see you guys in the next video. Don't forget, subscribe, support, stay positive, keep it 100, and I will see you next upload.